Today, I am talking about OBS Studio and how you can actually use your phone's camera to be a second camera for your live stream. Gonna wanna stick around for this one. This is how we do. Do it. What's up everybody, it's Shane here at Waiting To Be Seen and I wanna welcome you to this week's video. I'm so glad that you have joined me. Today, I'm gonna be talking about OBS Studio and a little bit of a function that I've only personally learned about in the last month or so. And that is being able to use my phone's camera in OBS as, as like a B camera. And that's pretty amazing. If you don't know about the platform itself, OBS is basically this. I mean, I've got a basic setup at the moment, and this is a piece of software that allows people to live stream. So if you've ever watched YouTube videos and people gaming and you wonder, hmm, how are they doing that? There's a really, really good chance that they're using OBS Studio. And one of the reasons why they're using OBS Studio is because it is such a powerful piece of software and it's free which ticks so many boxes for so many people. And so for me, learning how to use this software has been such a great process as a content creator, because let's be honest, live streaming during COVID has just gone whoosh, up through the absolute roof, not just on Twitch, but on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, on a whole bunch of platforms. So this video is really, really going to be helpful for you just to level up instead of just being stuck to the webcam in your laptop or whatever device you're using, you can add another camera and, and it's easy to do. You don't need another piece of hardware. You know, like it's really easy to go out and buy say an Atom Mini and plug in three or four cameras into that and then plug that in and then be able to switch between those cameras you can do that, absolutely. But if you don't have the budget to do that, there's a really, really good chance that you already have a smartphone. So just use this. And that's what today's video is about. Let's dive right on in. So this is OBS. I'm going to presume that you already know the platform. I'm not gonna delve into the particulars. It's not a tutorial on how to use the platform. It's just a tutorial on how to add your phone. So I will show you how to do that. First thing I wanna do is actually add a new scene. I'm gonna call this Ninja and I'll call it the name of my phone, which is S9, that'll do. And I don't have any sources, so I need to add a source and I'm going to add a browser. Okay, let's call that S9 browser for now. Click OK. So this uh, dialog box opens up and basically you need to add in a URL here, add a couple of particulars. So I'll add some of the particulars first because I don't have the URL yet. I want to create it so it's 1920 by 1080 and I want OBS to be able to control the audio coming out of the device. Now, this is the important part right here that we're going to be able to have to find. So I have loaded Chrome in my phone and I've gone to the website obs.ninja. And the great thing is, this is not just applicable to your phone. This does actually work on another laptop as well. So if you want to run two laptops with two webcams, you can do that. But I'm getting ahead of myself. OBS. Ninja. That's where you want to go. They do say just a little bit uh, down the page if you scroll that um, that they are rebranding to VDO.ninja. So at some point in the future, you will need to change the domain name to VDO.ninja rather than OBS.ninja. So just keep that in mind. Let's scroll back up. It's really, really simple. There's an option here, create a room, create a reusable invite or add your camera to OBS. And that's what we want to do. Just click on add your camera to OBS. It's going to have a look here. So it has found my front facing camera and I could actually change it around if I wanted to. I could use the, uh, the back facing camera. That is an option. You can see that there, but let's say for now, we'll just use uh, the front facing camera. So that's the slightly wider camera. So that's the tight shot. Let's go for the wide shot. That's looking good. You can then go horizontal and that's going to give us that horizontal screen. Now, because I am entering my, uh, my footage into OBS and saying I want it to be 1920 by 1080, I am going to go horizontal rather than vertical, but you could go vertical, really, really easy to do. And all you have to do is just press start. 
OBS.ninja is now streaming my phone's camera footage. And so all we have to do is take this stream, this browser source stream that OBS Ninja has created, and we need to paste that into OBS Studio. So let's do that. So I've taken the URL, I've popped it into OBS, and if I click on OK, and then click on the Ninja S9 scene, there it is. My phone is now streaming its camera, and OBS Studio is picking it up. And if I just click on studio mode for a minute, you'll be able to see both cameras running at the same time. So in preview, I now have my laptop. And if I switch, that's then the phone. Of course, because this camera is streaming, there's going to be like a minuscule amount of lag. But I think that if you have a really good internet connection on both devices, then that lag is actually fairly acceptable, especially if you're going to use uh, your phone as say a B camera that's got a bit of distance and is a bit of an overarching view, something that you can just switch to just to spice up the live stream. I think it is a fantastic function. And so this is something, this is a piece of software, just a little bit of an extension, a little bit of an initiative from the guys at uh, OBS.ninja or video.ninja that can really unlock your creativity as a content creator using OBS. And with that being said and done, let me, uh, let me find somewhere to put this, shall I? With that being said, I am all done for today. I hope that you've really enjoyed this top tip, this little hack that's going to help take your live streaming to the next level. If you have, give me a thumbs up down below to let me know. And hey, here at Waiting to Be Seen, I have a whole bunch of content. I have other tips, tricks, full-on tutorials. I have some unboxing content. I have some reviews. And it's all about helping others. That is my why. I'm very, very interested in being able to release content and free content that can help you be a better content creator. And if that sounds like something you might be interested in journeying with me on, then you guys know the drill. You just have to click on that big old red subscribe button down below and uh, click on the notification bell right alongside that. YouTube, they are going to do the rest. They will let you know as soon as my latest content is available. And I really, really would love to have you on board for the journey. Have yourself a fantastic Friday. If you're in Sydney like me, try and try and do some kind of random act of kindness that's going to make your family smile. And hey, I hope that the week to come is also going to be all full of the good ones for you that you can just find something to smile about because while so much of the world is a little bit crazy at the moment, it's, it's not the end of the world. You're still here. I'm still here. We will make it through this together. And so have yourself a brilliant week. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video here at Waiting to be Seen. Bye, guys. That's going to leave a mark. What?